Hey guys, it's Ben, and I want to go over an error you're going to get um, if you do not have Docker running on your computer. Uh, so this would be that error. I'm going to cancel this job just to show you. Oop, okay. So uh, in previous videos, I created a runner that was just supposed to be for the config file. This is that description of that runner. It's safe to say that I'm not, not using it for just the config file now. Anyway, so... Uh, you get this uh, cannot connect error and the reason that uh, this happens is because the GitLab runner is installed locally on the machine so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about because before uh, I didn't have the best conceptual understanding uh, of GitLab runner I used to think that the GitLab runner was the interface or like a connection piece was installed on your computer and whatnot uh, but technically the runner is on the computer and that runs the jobs and this would be your interface to that thing that's on your computer like this um, it actually was saying failed to run and etc could not connect and that's just saying it's right here too so this this thing parrots whatever this says right so uh, I'm in commander Let me, and uh, I'm in my program files I'll just show you that this is where we had the GitLab runner installed when if you're following my videos and uh, I had to create a config uh, .toml file so let me just run this and it doesn't you don't even need to have the exe or whatnot okay cool so this is actually picking up stuff now let me see if I can you know I'm gonna do this oh, how do we, there we go I'm gonna resize that I'll throw that here. Okay, so I'm going to redo this job. There we go. Retry the job. Let's see if it picks this up. Yep, it just checked for the job, received, etc. And then this is supposed to be the runner that's running right here is supposed to look for the Docker Docker on your computer. Now I'm using the Docker toolbox, which means it needs to look for my Docker machine, which I've already stopped. So I'm not going to get this thing to work. So I'm going to cancel this job. Alright. Fail the process run. That's fine. Docker machine. I don't want to say start. Okay. So this is going to take a little bit uh, to uh, run. Um, I'll skip through that. Okay, so now my Docker machine is, has started. Uh, started machines may have, you might need to rerun. I don't think we need to do that. Um, so now that we're back, I'm going to uh, retry this thing. Hopefully, it doesn't pick up a shared runner because it does that front seat. There it goes. All right, stop doing that. And it keep, it just continually does it. Uh, that is super annoying. Where's the CICD? And I'll just create a new pipeline because then it'll just clear that runner cache. And create pipeline. It did not pick it up. It's using a, a shared runner again. Oof. Oh boy, there we go. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Okay, now, <laughs> Jesus, that was taking forever. Okay, so now my runner is ready and it's picking up uh, the job. And since we have Docker machine running, it, this uh, Docker thing, and I've started it, we should see uh, that it runs fine. Actually, it might get an error in the first uh, little bit. So you got, you got the error just now. And it should show up here. Yep. And then the funny thing is, it'll fix itself right after that. And it'll be retried. Now it's retried. And now it's working. So uh, that's it. That's how you solve this, uh, you know, executor docker.go116 or fail to, fail, error during connect uh, when you're using Docker and Docker. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.